welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, just checking I don't have lipstick on my teeth because this is a bullet lipstick, not a lip. Good one. I'm on a low buy, but 1st of May was my birthday, so I've got quite a few bits of makeup etc that have been bought for me, uh, and there are also, when I was given money to spend on myself, I ignored all of my low buy rules and spent money on makeup, so today what this film is, is it, it's, it's my makeup haul, my birthday makeup haul, because it's not every day you turn 45, okay this bag's quite heavy, I need to put it back down again. Where do I start? I've actually got more than just in that bag. I've got some here and I've got some here as well. So uh, uh, let's start here and here. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good plan. Right, I did a bit of an order with uh, Oh My Glitter, OMG. Uh, I am affiliated with them. Uh, discount code is linked below as long as, along with a link directly to their site. I make a small commission if you order from them, however you save 10% on orders over £10. They are a UK indie brand that have been going for quite a while. I have got so much of my glitter stuff already long, 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 long before I was an affiliate with them. Uh, I've even got a lipstick named after me called Bomalicious. So, uh, it is a liquid lipstick and I have asked her if she can perhaps possibly recreate it for me in bullet form because I am wearing more bullet lipsticks lately. However, let's go through the things that I bought from Oh My Glitter. Um, I've got another one of her uh, pigments. This one is Candy Queen. It's beautiful, sort of almost corally pink. So I'm excited to use uh, that. And two of her bullet lippies. This one is called Chocolate Lavender. How stunning is that? And this one I named and it's called Just Kissed because it is the colour that your lips go. They've just been very thoroughly kissed. And what I love about this packaging. Ready? Magnetic! So excited by that. I can't tell you how exciting that was. And um, I actually pre-ordered this. But fortunately, it was done just in time for my birthday. This is the Alexicon palette. Look at this. You can choose your own colour scheme for the front when you order. So you get to choose the colour of the eye, the colour of the planchette and the colour of the front of the palette. And these are the colours inside the palette. How beautiful are they? I can, my lights are sort of, my lights are washing these two out so if I hold this up maybe this will be easier to see. These are the shade names. I cannot tell you how excited I am to start playing with that. I have got 
so many. I hadn't even swatched those lipsticks until now um, because I wanted to save it so that you got to see it first time too. Uh, I also, she, um, this initially was a one-off but I believe if you contact her she may be able to make one for you. She showed this on her page for affiliates. Look at this gorgeous 3D anatomical heart with all of this sort of I mean, how gorgeous is that and purple me hello and I know what you're thinking oh, what palette's that then and all the steampunk stuff that's the word my brain was searching for could you tell all like the steampunk bits and pieces well my darlings it is a blank palette so you can create your own palette you can choose your favorite shades from all of her palettes pop them in here you could curate your own palette by buying single shades from Colourpop uh, ABH I mean I've got a lot of individual shades which I've got in my big Z palette well, it's not a Z palette it's a pro artist or whatever it was but it's not always practical if you're going to go away for like a weekend or like a three day break. Whereas that, perfect size, I can just pop my favourite shades in now. Boom, away we go. Now, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you will know the name Kay. She is a lovely friend of mine. Um, who uh, buys makeup, decides that she don't, either can't get on with it or isn't using it much and then messages me and says, well I like it, uh, which is a marvellous. Um, I'm just going to take these swatches off the back of my hand before I end up wiping them. Look at that though, isn't that cool? I can't wait to start using those. Um, first thing she sent me was the blue and green certified glitters to match my Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe so that was awesome um, and the second thing she sent me was a Viseart palette even before I'd filmed my brands I want to try this year and Viseart was on there so she sent me the Libertine palette and I was just so astounded and shocked and honoured that she would think of me to send them to anyway she messaged me just before my birthday and said uh, I'm having a bit of a clear out again would you like any of these bits? Uh, and I of course said yes please and she said there's, there's some bits in here she said that uh, you've probably or I, I know she, I know you've got this particular palette she said which was this this one here she said but I thought you could put them in your 500 subscriber giveaway and I'm like oh my goodness she's even thinking of me for that so there's three palettes there I think there's three is there three? No, there's two palettes and um, silicon applicators that um, oh, I'll, show I'll give you a quick I'll give you a quick preview very very quick preview there's the three pack of silicon parental advisory and the mermaid which are unopened so I'm going to pop those into my 500 subscriber giveaway now I know what you're thinking but you've not got those, Ange. Ah, old fire. You'll be surprised. But the items that she had tried, um, which I am absolutely keeping for myself, are as follows. I'm so excited by this. Where do I start? Where do I start? Um, I'm such a child when it comes to makeup. I can't help it. I get so excited. Um, this is what my husband gets like when he gets something new for his, his you know, his man cave, his shed. Uh, I've got three of these little mini Wet n Wild liquid cat suits, which I absolutely adore. Two are metallic and one is matte. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to spin them round so you can actually see the colour rather than the wording on the, on the thingy. Yeah. So these are the colours of lipstick that she sent me. I love little mini ones like this. It's great for trying shades out and for, you know, popping in like an evening bag if you're only going out for 
you know, a few hours. And then Juvia's Place of the Tribe Highlighter in Volume 3, which, I'm sorry, hello, look at that. And yes, Juvia's are like Beauty Bakery in that the, the lower the number, the deeper the shade. But just look at that, isn't that just stunning? Stunning! So, yay! Um, there's also this Saharan Blush Volume 2, which I think that would work fantastically for me as a bronzer. So I'm just going to swatch all of these. So we've got Yara B. Uh, where shall I swatch them? Just try and swatch them on the back of here. No, okay. let, me, let me swatch it on the arm. I haven't got any tattoos on that. That make more sense, wouldn't it? Right. Yara and B. Yeah, that would definitely work. I'll just go quite light handy with it there. Solar and Zoba. Ooh. And Tao and Lena. Probably the worst swatches I've ever done. But those are stunning. Looking forward to playing with those. And again, I don't know if she was looking at my brands I wanted to try. But one of the brands on the list is Igneous Cosmetics. Now, I did actually order from them myself back at the beginning of the year. And the parcel never arrived. It got lost in the post, which was really unhelpful. Um, I'm hoping they're going to send me another one. Um, and if they do, I'll probably give that to one of my friends when it arrives. But this is the Lakeside Palette from Igneous. This is a Canadian brand. Just take those swatches off. This is a Canadian indie brand. Look at that, isn't that just a stunning six pound palette? I mean, that's the colours of the season right now, isn't it? Everything's doing blues and greens. And this is just beautiful. I will admit, I have already had a play with this. Love it. Love, 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 love it. Thank you, Co. And a little mini opal highlight from Becca. Now I have used this before and it is a little dark but so long as I go light handed with it or top it with something like Jeffrey's Ice Cold or um, Ofra's Glazed Donut that really does go beautifully. So thank you so much for this kind. Um, I said to her, you're like my fairy godmother when it comes to makeup, and she went, no, more like your rich aunt who just buys too much makeup, uh, and I just love that analogy, so, even though she's younger than me, Kay is my rich aunt who uh, occasionally blesses me with um, some of the makeup that she's bought. Right. Ooh. That's not stuff that I'm talking about now. But this is um, items that I bought with birthday money. I ordered from W7. Um, and they always send you samples of their um, foundations. Uh, and I think this is one of the foundations I've not tried yet. So, awesome. But I picked up... Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliner, which is super, super pretty. I picked up Princess Potion, which is their version of the Fasali um, Unicorn, like pink goop. That everyone sort of like strategically drips on their face on Instagram. 
Uh, our fast absorbing complexion booster and primer works wonders on bare skin alone for a radiant complexion or as the perfect base for your favourite foundation. Blended with skin loving hyaluronic acid, rosehip oil, sweet almond oil, aloe, argan oil, grape leaf and chamomile. So that all sounds pretty good. I'll just put a drop there as you can see. I'm just gonna I don't know whether you're actually gonna be oh that feels really nice. Oh and it smells like it smells it smells like a sweet that I used to have as a kid. Oh that smells amazing. Um, and I got myself their Pretty Please palette. Now, I've got quite a few of their tinned palettes. Now, the tinned palettes are dupes for Urban Decay. And their cardboard palettes tend to be dupes for Anastasia. So this one, if you couldn't guess from the outside of the tin, is... A dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. Dazzling you with the inside of that, oh no, but I'm trying to get it so you can actually see the shades without my lights washing them out. So I shall be having a play with that. And then Darling hubby, darling hubby, as well as taking me out for a meal and a number of other different bits and pieces that he's done, got me the Coloured Rain Safari palette, which I will admit I have had a play with. I wore it when he took me out for our meal. And he also got me one of the lipsticks to match. This is Meishi Rain. Spelled the same way as Coloured Rain, R-A-I-N-E. Uh, and this is a really beautiful. I mean, look, even the packaging matches the, the palette. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's basically what I would wear as my... This for me is my everyday nude. So it's, it's like a mauve a mauve nude, which I've got so many of them in that colour. But I love the fact that he thought to get me one of the lipsticks to go with the palette. And of the three lipsticks, there was this mauve one, there was the bright red. And he simply wear bright reds, but he knows that I tend to only wear bright red in a liquid lipstick. And there's also the deep brown. And he knows that I don't wear deep brown very often. So bless him, he even chose the right colour lipstick. So I was super, super impressed. And now, in the rest of this bag, there's all the bits that one of my best mates, Sophie, got me. She kind of, um, she spoiled me. Because as well as these, she also made me some cupcakes. And they were so good. I, mean, I did actually save one or two um, so that my hubby could try one when he got in from work. But oh my gosh, they were amazing. So, she got me the Revolution, if I can get into the damn thing without breaking a nail. She got me the Revolution Mermaid palette, and I just, I love the colours in this. This is just, I'm looking forward to having a play with this palette, really looking forward to having a play with this palette. Lava liquid lipstick in Shockwave, which matches my purple brow pomade quite perfectly. So uh, you're probably going to see quite a bit of that as well. 
uh, she picked me up bronze and glow fortunately she and I are very very similar in skin tone so she knows if it works for her it'll work for me and there's the door hold on I am back sweetly the lady that uh, was delivering the, the package said to me oh I love your makeup oh thank you so much. Um, yeah this is the bronze and glow that she got me which is awesome because We've both been trying to find a dupe for the Renaissance Glow one that Revolution used to do. Have I still got mine over here? Yes, I have. I bought her one of these ages ago because it was, it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. But it was the absolute perfect contour shade for us both and highlight shade for us both. Now for some reason, Revolution have stopped doing this. I don't know whether Charlotte Tilbury had a go at them. Um, but I really wish they would bring this back because I love this packaging as well. And you got the pans in here with the same size, both sides. Whereas this side you get more highlight than contour, which is bizarre because you use more contour than you do highlight. However... This is the closest that we've both found, so she got me one of these, so that's awesome. That means I can continue using my Renaissance Glow now without worrying about it running out. I love these little chocolate bar ones. She's so she really spoils me. She really does. Now, do you remember that Kay sent me parental advisory and the thing is... This is why parental advisory and the thing is, sponges, are going into the giveaway because Sophie got them for me for my birthday. So that's a bloody awesome. That's bloody awesome for you use a lot that are entering the giveaway because it means you've got more. So yeah, there's these Unicorn Tears Silicon Sponges, which is... Um, I guess Revolution's version of the Silly Sponge. Now, I will admit, never tried a silicone one before. But, I'm prepared to give it a go. Because if it doesn't work for putting foundation on, you can always use it to mix foundation and maybe a lightener or a, or a deepener or a changing the undertone on the back of it if you don't have a tray for doing that with so I should be giving I should be do these things work that'll be uh, that'll be coming up on my channel soon this is the parental advisory and I love it it's sort of it's one of those ones and this is like um, the stickers we used to get on all of the like Guns and Roses albums and stuff in the 80s parental advisory swearing yeah 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 whatever and it says, get naked, use me up, be explicit on the mirror. But you can see it's really pretty neutrals with a pop of the blue and some sort of some orange and some sort of burgundies up here. So that's very cool. Very cool indeed. I should be giving that one a go. temptation I've had to open this but I've been so good I haven't done it at all it's still even got its plastic coating on which maybe I should have thought about this before I oh no that one's not gonna work and she hasn't got a spiky thing on the other end of it maybe I should have thought about that before I sat down to film I'll use one of my nails there nice and sharp there we go she said to me what did I want for my birthday and I'm like oh I'd really love the Tammy palette please so this is the only thing I asked for everything else I think I asked for the mermaid palette as well but this I can't wait to have a play with I didn't buy the first one of hers partly because 
I wasn't keen on those long skinny pan sizes and also because it just didn't call to me it was too too deep and too muted I love that they've now actually carried the outer packaging onto the inner packaging that's great it means I don't have to hang on to this anymore if I don't want to um, it's got the names on the back there all the names on the inside as well oh no so my calypso's busted um so what i will do coming over for coffee with you uh, tomorrow day after tomorrow i'll bring this with me um and you can just pop back into sainsbury's and swap it that's a bugger but that is just so beautiful but yeah i'm gonna close that back up and pop that back in its box and take that back over so that Soph can actually get that swap that's right. but I've got plenty of other things in the meantime to be playing with as you can see so that is my birthday haul what would you like to see me use first so obviously not this one because we need to take it back and swap it because of the broken shade but from all the other palettes so there's the um, there's the coloured rain there's the igneous one there's the um, oh my glitter lexicon palette um, there's the parental advisory the mermaid palette and the dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. So out of all of those palettes, let me know in the description below. Wow, I'm getting hot. Excuse me just one moment. It's uh, ridiculously hot in my kitchen for some unknown reason today. Either that, or I'm finally hitting menopause and having a hot flash. One of the two. Well, it could just be that it's really hot in my kitchen. There we go. Right. So, as I was saying, in the comments box below, let me know which of those palettes you want to see me use first. And I will uh, get on to filming with them. Um, as I said, two of them I have already played with. I have played with Igneous. And I have played a little bit with Safari, but not very much. So, um, yeah, that's that's my birthday haul. I'm a very, very lucky girl. Uh, that's that's just the, the makeup elements of my birthday haul. I got many, many other things as well. I got um, coconut scented toiletries from Gemma because she she watches my channel and she knows anything coconut or pineapple. Gimme, 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 gimme. gimme. So yes, pina coladas, my absolute favourite of the cocktail varieties. Although black Russian and a good mojito do come a good second and third. Hmm. Anyway, um, oh my god kids, oh my god kids got me this awesome t-shirt with a unicorn with rainbow hair and a face like this. Auntie corn. Like normal aunties, but more awesome. So I am the auntie corn, and that is the face that I pull when I'm babysitting, and they are not going to bed like they are meant to do. Thankfully that doesn't happen very often. They're normally very, very good when Auntie Angie's around. Probably because of that, that grumpy expression that I get. Right. I think that's it. I don't think I've missed anything out. So, again, let me know which of the palettes you want to see me use first. And uh, I will, well, that's it. I'm done. I'm finished. Voila. I think this is probably going to be one of the shortest films I've ever done. Um, please double check you are still subscribed because YouTube do keep unsubscribing people. Um, and they also keep taking the notification bell off, which is equally very annoying because I thought to myself oh yeah so and so hasn't done any films for quite a while and then I go to their page and I'm still subscribed but they've turned the notification bell off or they've set it to some notifications which apparently means no notifications instead of all notifications so 
um, yeah, beginning of the month that I tend to go through and just double check that everybody's bell is still rung. Because annoyingly, I've been unsubscribed from some channels, but they were still appearing in my newsfeed. So I hadn't realised that I'd been unsubscribed. That's annoying. Mm. Mm. So yes, uh, please double check you are still subscribed. Um, and now, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.